Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 30 of the FIFA 20 My Player Career. We are with Arsenal and the first game up in today's episode is a home game taking on Leicester City. We've played 11 matches so far in Arsenal colours and I think we've got 11 assists and 7 goals I think it said there in the bottom left. So let's see how we get on then against the Foxes. Obviously Leicester City a fairly decent Premier League team. I think they're on a little bit of a tough time right now in this save. Um, so Arsenal should be the favourites, especially with the form that we are in right now. We're hoping to obviously um, continue on with the winning form and get ourselves towards the top of the table. Um, Liverpool currently sit at the top of the league, I believe. Um, we'll have to wait and see on that. We'll probably check the league table out, actually, at the end of today's episode, see exactly where people stand. Uh, but early chance there for Arsenal, and it was Mario Riccardi getting himself on uh, the first shots at least, see if we can get him on that score sheet as well. Corner gets swung in there by Kai and he does go out of play for an Arsenal throw. So onwards we go then, just over half an hour played here at the Emirates. Uh, Kai with a nice little um, piece of skill there, plays the ball forward. Is he going to get it back? He is. He needs to play it across the middle, which he does, but the goalkeeper, he was there first and gets the ball clear for Leicester City. So now they are the ones in possession looking to attack and they're going to attack on this near side somebody needs to try and press here try and win the ball back for Arsenal through the middle still less to press forward and he has lost it Lucas Torreira gets enough foot in there as Ozil plays it through Kai has got the pace we already know that can he finish it is Kai who hits it across the keeper and Arsenal do Break the deadlock, one goal to nil here at the Emirates Stadium. Lucas Trero, it was who won the ball back initially just inside the own half for the Arsenal. And then, of course, Mario Cardi lays it off to Ozil and then Ozil finds the run of Kai. And he had three chasing, but they don't have the pace to, get, um, to catch up with him, I should say. And there he is, finishing with his right boot to score his fifth Premier League goal of the season. I think that's eight in total now for the young French midfielder. And hopefully, obviously, he's going to be getting quite a few more before the season is out, along with some silverware. That is the hope, that is the dream, and of course, that is the target for this season. As Leicester go through, the goalkeeper forced to make a good save, uh, but a cracking effort there for Leicester to get themselves back on two level terms. Um, but 1-0, it does remain here for the Arsenal Kai on a 7.6 match rating. As Leicester still trying to attack on that far side. Laid that one forward. Is the cross going to come in? It does across the floor. The shot was there as well at the near post. But good positional play there from the goalkeeper. He gets down low and makes that vital save. To put it out for a corner then for Leicester. Corner wasn't too bad. But no Leicester City players around it really. They've still got maybe one last effort here. Before the break. And the shot comes in. The goalkeeper again. Bert Leno. In the right place at the right time. Defence needs to do better because the goalkeeper is keeping us in front here. Another corner for Leicester. Short post this one. And it's going to go back out. Is the cross going to come in again? Oh, he's just offside there. Um, so, I think that is going to be the last action of that first off. Let's jump into the second. 15 minutes remaining. Still Arsenal holding on here to a one-goal lead. A um, pretty narrow one-goal lead, actually, because Leicester have had quite a few chances at the end of that first off. Been a bit, a bit of a quiet second period as Kai goes with the long-range effort there. Um, not too far away. Let's have a look from the replay. Uh, yeah, not too far away, but obviously should, or you would have hoped at least, to be hitting the target um, from that kind of position. So 7.2 match rating for Kai as we go into the final two minutes of injury time. And we just need to hold on and claim these three points. It's going to be an important three points, of course. Uh, well, let's see how we get on. Come on, boys. Just need to hold on. Don't concede late on. Waiting for that referee to blow that final whistle. There it is. Arsenal do get the victory then. One goal to nil. And we do have, I think, two more games in today's episode. Uh, so it's nice to start off with a victory. A nice 1-0 win. 1-0 to the Arsenal, as they say. Boring, boring Arsenal. But we'll take it. Three points in the bag. There is a quick look at the table. Liverpool currently nine games played, nine wins. So they're having a cracking season so far. Just two points in front of Chelsea, though. And Manchester City and Man United are up there challenging still as well. Ourselves down in sixth place. Obviously, some work to do if we are going to be towards the top of the table come the end of the season but that is the drive that we have hopefully we can pull it off and we've got a long way to go as i said but we have the confidence to keep pushing forward and we'll try and get kai in 
um, to help the Arsenal move forward and become Premier League champions once more. Uh, but we do have the Europa League to concentrate on right now. Obviously, this is the last season which we want to be competing in the Europa League. We want to be back in the Champions League next season. So the top four is the bare minimum which we want for Arsenal this year. Hopefully, we can achieve that. And then, of course, try and win the Europa League as well. So either way, we do get ourselves back into the Champions League. And then hopefully Arsenal can improve the squad going, for, uh, going forward. Um, they've already spent a lot of money on Kai. So hopefully they continue spending. And we do have quite a few youngsters still here at the Arsenal as well. But let's see how we get on here. And I think it's game three. I could be wrong on that. But let's see how we get on. Nice cross there from Kai. The defence was absolutely nowhere. The goalkeeper, though, he was in a good position to make that vital save and to keep the scores level at 0-0. Uh, 6.4 match rating for Kai early on. Uh, hopefully if he gets an assist or a goal, that will obviously improve as Arsenal still press forward here. Good turn there from Kai and a beautiful finish. Nice little turn and then a finesse left footed uh, finish into the top corner. Uh, less than 10 minutes gone and it is Slavia Prague nil. Arsenal 1. And can we take the three points back to the Emirates Stadium with us? We are looking good so far. Uh, so long may that continue in this match. There's a good little turn here from Kai. Just on the edge of the area. Beautiful turn and boom. Better finish. There's, how many is that for the Europa League this season? We're going to get another replay. No, we are not. So how many is that for the season in the European competition? It is... Come on, show us. That's his second Europa League goal. Of the season, I'm sure he's going to be getting more. We need to start setting some kind of a goal targets for the season. Um, not really too fussed about the European competition for his own targets, but I feel maybe 15 goals in the Premier League is a very achievable target, um, especially with the team that we've got around us to help us. Oh, that's a nice little finish there from Pepe. Wasn't expecting him to actually finish from there, but Kai picks up an assist. 20 minutes gone. And it is now Slavia Prague nil, Arsenal 2. That came out of nowhere. Wasn't really expecting us to push forward there. Uh, but good assist there from Kai. And an even better finish at the near post as well by Nicola Pepe. Let's have a look. Nice little turn. Finds Pepe just outside the six-yard box. And a cool finish there from him. And it is now Arsenal who lead two goals. Now looking good for the three points now in this Europa League game. We should be finishing the group stage top of the league to be fair. Um, can we get it through? We cannot. Slavia Prague there with the good defensive work. And I do get the ball clear. We are into the second half now, if you didn't already notice. Pepe with that throw. Is he going to get the return? He needs to get back on side though. So we, Arsenal are forced to go backwards. Nicely played here. Here is Meza Ozil. Kai is in space. And probably the easiest goal he has scored so far this season. But good assist there from the German. Meza Ozil, he has always got the vision. And he saw Kai just wandering around that far post. No defender around him. And Arsenal now have a three-goal lead. Kai gets himself another goal as well. And I think he's on the hat-trick now, isn't he? Look at that. Boom. Goalkeeper couldn't get across fast enough. Defence sleeping. And a finish. Um, probably the easiest finish, as I said, of his career, maybe. Uh, but there is another goal then for Arsenal. It's his third in the Europa League for Kai. And we are approaching the hour mark. Still leading here by three goals. Nil. Arsenal put in a really, a really good performance um, in Europe. The away days are always tough in Europe. So it's nice to put three away. And hopefully we can keep a clean sheet as well. But Slavia Prague going all the way through. And they do pull a goal back. I spoke too soon, didn't I? Uh, we wanted a clean sheet. But that is not happening today. Slavia Prague have pulled a goal back. Just under an hour played. It is now Slavia Prague 1. Arsenal 3. Uh, defence a little bit slack there at the back but it was a nice little run played that one through and boom underneath the goalkeeper to pull a goal back so we need to concentrate we've got half an hour to play Masso Pust it was who pulled that goal back but Arsenal are on the attack looking to get a fourth the game should pretty much be wrapped up if I'm totally honest as Guendouzi plays that one through and he's hit the woodwork but he was taken down actually as he took that shot. Now, I don't know if that was a penalty or just outside the area. We'll find out shortly. Is he going to be booked? I don't think he's been booked there. Let's have a look on the floor there. Oh, yeah, he's definitely inside the area. So it is going to be a penalty kick here for Arsenal. Nicolas Pepe steps up and the goalkeeper makes the save. Good goalkeeping there from the Slavia Prague keeper. Goalkeeper read it from the start, to be honest. 
Not enough power on it. He tried to place it into that top corner, Nicola Pepe, uh, but it didn't quite work out for him. But it shouldn't worry us too much because we're still leading by a two-goal advantage. 3-1 is a score. Still trying to press forward here for our fourth. Not going to get it unless we can push forward straight from there. We cannot. And Slavia Prague with 30 seconds remaining, looking for a second goal. And I don't think they're going to get anything from it. Even if they do get the goal, they're not going to get another one after that. Uh, but a good save there from the German keeper, Bernd Leno. And last chance for Slavia Prague to get anything. Can they get a second goal? Or maybe one last effort. They do go for the last effort, but it was Tierney with that block. And I think that is going to be about it. It is. Uh, a minute and 30 seconds added on onto the original injury time but we do hold on for the victory three goals to one and i think that keeps us top of the group stages as well as the europe league so let's finish off today's episode with hopefully three points we're taking on fulham in the premier league i'm sure premier league um, has not been kind to Fulham so far this season I'm not entirely sure where they are we should have had a look last time we had a look at the premier league table uh, but in tomorrow's episode, we will have a, a little bit more of an in-depth look to see what the Premier League table is looking like. Hopefully, Arsenal get the three points here in this London derby, so we are towards the top of that table as well. And we'll find out where Fulham are too. Maybe they're in a relegation battle, but they could be um, challenging for European spots. I have no idea. I have no idea what kind of team they have, uh, but hopefully Arsenal can get the job done here. We are the favourites regardless of where they are. Also in good form and a bit of space in front of Kai then on this near side. He's got two um, in support all the way forward. And that's a great pass to Nicola Pepe. And what a ball. That was great vision there from Kai. He played the through ball in. And what a run it was there from Nicola Pepe. He's been absolutely outstanding this week. Got a couple of goals. But of course he did miss that penalty in midweek in the Europa League. But he's not going to let that um, um, put him down. It was a great one. Look at the vision. And boom. Goalkeeper actually came across but was unfortunate to get a hand on that. But it is Nicola Pepe who scores his third Premier League goal of the season. And let's see if we can get any more before the final whistle blows. We are approaching the hour mark. Arsenal leading here by that single goal. Was a cracking goal as well. Here is Kai looking for another assist. He's currently on a 7.9 match rating. Played through there. Is he going to go all the way himself or is he going to lay it off? He does lay it off. And he's played back through and the shot really should have been fine in the back of the net there from Kai. Uh, but the goalkeeper got down low, makes a vital save, keeps Fulham in this match. Got half an hour remaining. Can Fulham find themselves an equalising goal? Time is running out though. We're into the final five minutes almost. And Leno picks up that ball, kicks the ball forward. Good vision, finds Kai as well. Good distributional play there from Bernd Leno. Uh, Kai cuts inside, got space in front of him. Is he going to go all the way himself? Just needs to lay it off, which he does. And Gabriel Martinelli does give Arsenal a two-goal lead. Kai with a, another assist today. He's been man of the match, you have to say. Even though he hasn't bagged himself a goal, he's put in two great assists. Not sure what Lucas Torreira is doing there. He's just stood out with his arms out. Uh, but this should be the game wrapped up then for Arsenal. Three points in the bag. Nice way to end today's episode as well as we do try and push forward. Trying to catch the leading pack at the top of the Premier League table. Second Premier League goal there for Martinelli. And we are into the final few minutes then. Uh, so guys, I think that is going to be about it. As I said, we will have a better look at the Premier League table in tomorrow's episode. But thanks for watching. Leave a like if you did like it. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.